the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I want to take a second and thank each and every single one of you guys out there that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. It means the world to me guys. Today I'm excited to bring you guys along with me as we are going to be taking a look at the Apex Surface Protections Metal Oxide Coating. I'm excited. It's This is going to be only my second coating ever applied, but from what I've seen, it is an extremely user-friendly coating, and uh, I just want to bring you guys along with me as I apply it, give you guys my initial thoughts and feedback. Also, I will be topping with the Rehydra Sheet. Now, the cool thing about this coating is if if you guys never heard of Brian over at Apex Detail, you guys have to be living under a rock. <laughs> um, he's an awesome guy, tons of knowledge. He's over at Apex Detail. I'll put the link to his YouTube channel uh, in the description box. So you guys can go check out his channel as well. Um, Brian has several, several, several years of experience in, in correction and protection. He developed this coating uh, with two toppers in mind. This is the Rehydra Sheet. So you can customize how you want your coating to behave as far as hydrophobics. You can, you can have a sheet or you can have it bead. There's people out there that love, love beading. You're going to want to go with Rehydra bead. There's people out there like me that although beading is cool to look at, I want the water off my paint. I don't want it sitting on my paint. And that's what's called sheeting. So the water sheets off the paint and leaves the panel dry. That's what, in my opinion, for me is going to work for me. So I chose the Rehydra sheet. Um, so I'm excited. I really am excited um, to try this out. Uh, there's really not much to say. Um, I paid for this with my own money. I ordered it the night that he released it. I also, um, I have Brian in one of my live streams um, just a while back and I want to say thank you to Brian for, for taking the time to join us on a live stream. And we were lucky enough for him to, this thing keeps flying around in my face. Um, we were lucky enough to get him, you know, and his knowledge on my live. It was a fantastic live. He announced that he was going to be releasing this. I ordered it the next night out of my own pocket. He did not send this to me. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited. Um, I've got my Honda here. I've got it all prepped. I'm ready to apply this coating. I'm gonna get the cart set up. We're gonna go over a few things and then we're gonna jump right into coating this thing. All right, everybody. So I went ahead, I got my detail cart all set up. Got everything you need. So in this kit, um, it comes with a a dropper. Brian does not believe in the little, the little tops in these that sprays everywhere and I kinda agree. So much nicer uh, to be able to use a dropper and apply it controlled to the applicator pad that also comes in the kit now you can you can buy complete kits you can buy individual products by themselves uh, one thing I do recommend is on your applicator pad just check it make sure there's nothing on the pad that might scratch the paint or get in the way of the coating just to be sure also when you're doing a coating Wear your gloves, work in a well-ventilated area. I'm in my garage, but I'm going to crack the garage a little bit, open the door a little bit. That way I get some airflow through here. Now I've got, I've got my towels set up. Uh, one towel here, this is the, these are brand new Eagle 300 Edgeless from the Rag Company. These are gonna be my initial wipe off towels. And then to come in for the final buff, I've just got my cobalt blue uh, double-sided towels here those are going to be my final buff off now guys let's talk a little bit about preparation for this coating any coating any form of protection you got to properly prep the vehicle now what I mean by that is go through the necessary steps to wash decontaminate and remove everything out of the paint that could possibly hinder the performance of the coating you want the paint as clean as possible. You're going to want to do your wash. You're going to want to do your decontamination, iron remover, followed by a, a clay. Remove all that stuff from the paint and at least a light polish to exfoliate the paint. 
and or if you're looking to do a coating you want to get the paint as perfect as you want it to be They're, everybody's different so this car behind me you guys that follow along my channel you guys all know this is my honda it already looks killer uh it is washed it's prepped i actually did just a few months back i did a, a light polish on it decon everything um for a, for a different form of protection i put on it um i'm moving on to a coating now because i'm just tired of running through waxes and spray sealants so i'm getting ready to coat this thing i washed it i ran my clay towel around it there was really not much contamination in it at all um, and then i did a one step polish using um the ice polish from extreme solutions and a white rupes pad just to i wasn't going after defect removal i was just going after i need to exfoliate the paint a little bit and get it ready to accept the ceramic coating that i'm about to apply to it i then followed up with my paint surface prep i wiped it all down twice and i'm also going to wipe it down one more time before i start just in case it's been sitting overnight so i washed it yesterday i got it all prepped i got it all ready uh, and i wanted to wait because it was around 92 degrees yesterday i didn't feel like that was ideal for me to apply the coating so i waited till the next day which is today to come in it's about nine o'clock in the morning to apply the coating i feel like it would make me more comfortable and a lot easier of an environment to work in so yeah honda is prepped and ready it's already looking glossy i cannot wait to put this coating on so i'm gonna get set up i'm gonna get my gloves on we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go after applying this coating i'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod i'm gonna apply it and i'm gonna bring you guys in and show you a, a, a up close application you guys this is only my second coating i'm a weekend warrior i'm a diyer so you guys out there that are that are scared to do a coating come along with me on this journey and and let's have some fun All right, everybody, I've got my applicator pad here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna initially prime the pad with a little more product than you probably need. But this is just for the first application. All right, we got it nice and primed. Now we're gonna start here and we're gonna work this section here. And I'm going to give you guys my feedback. So here we go. We're going to start right here. We're going to start coating. It's almost invisible. Now really the key is with the coating that I was so nervous about when I first started. Just trying to pay attention to where you left off. So how am I going to remember? Let's try to use markers. Now I'm going to the uh, to the windshield wiper. So my pad's drying up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the applicator. I'm gonna come back in. Much better. Could have primed it a little bit more, but that's all right. Now you're gonna wanna give it a minute and a half until it starts to haze. like so. It's really hard to see. It's almost clear. I'm starting to get a little bit of rainbowing here. Almost ready to come off. 
So with the initial wipe here with this towel, not gonna be putting much pressure. This is just gonna help spread the product around. Very light pressure, just kind of work the product around. Help massage it into the paint. All right, I'm gonna come in with my second buff towel. Buff it off. Now you want to be diligent with your wipe off. Make sure you don't leave anything left behind, especially like on the adjacent panels. So excessively wiping is good. You want to make sure you got it all off. That was pretty simple. Extremely simple. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and prime the applicator again. See, I left off right about here. So we're gonna go down like so. Start with a nice little box. Do your crisscross patterns, crisscross up and down. Hopefully my big head's not in your guys' way. That's about it. So we're gonna give it a little bit of time. It says a minute and a half. Sorry for all the traffic in the back, guys. I don't have the luxury of not having traffic go by. Wait for it to start the rainbow. Level it out a little bit here. I already see a spot I'm gonna miss right here. slowly very lightly wipe this down now remember you're just lightly wiping it in help spreading it around help kind of massage it into the paint Then come in with your second towel and buff to perfection. Yeah, seems pretty easy. Now, like I said, excessive wiping 
is necessary. You want to make sure you got it all. That's pretty much it. Get you guys off the camera. As you can see here. Really, really easy to use. So, let's get set up. I'm going to put you guys in my hand. We're going to go over here and we're going to apply it to the center of the hood over here. So we're going to start by the wiper where I where I left off. There's a good shot of it right there. You guys can kind of see it, it's oily. Now your crisscross patterns, that's just gonna ensure even coverage. Make sure I get in the groove over here. That's it. Kind of hard to see. It's almost like there's nothing there. It's weird. I'm starting to see a little bit of rainbowing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use our initial towel. Lightly wipe in. This is just gonna help spread the product in. Like so. Then we're gonna grab our blue one. Sorry, I should have brought my cart over to this side, but I wanted to get set up first. But now we're gonna come buff off the remaining, well, really nothing remaining, but just to make sure we don't have any high spots. And that's pretty much it. Voila. That was a uh, that was extremely easy, guys. As you guys can see, now this can be applied on all hard surfaces. Paint, glass, plastic, rims. I'm not going to do the rims. The rims are already protected. I did polish the headlights. I'm gonna put it on the headlights, the chrome grill up here, the glass. I'm gonna put it on everything on the outside that I can. So Smurf's gonna to get to work. I'm gonna finish coating this thing. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you one more application. Um, I'm here on the door. I've got this door done, the fender done. Look at that gloss. It's just insane. Once again, I apologize for the traffic in the back, but I wanted to show you guys another application here. 
So I got my coating here. And what I'm gonna do is one line across, put my cap back on. Now what I'm gonna do here is hopefully not get in the way. I've got my paint light here. I'm gonna go right through the center of the door and I'm gonna go straight down, straight back up. Sorry, I'm trying to videotape through the camera and not look what I'm doing. Really hard to see on this paint. Let me scoot over this way a little bit so you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you look in the light. So, right through the center. Now we're gonna go this way. Sorry guys, my freaking camera work is terrible, but I wanted to show you guys this as I'm kind of working through. Crosshatch pattern. Now Brian says wait about 90 seconds from initial application. It's actually starting to get warm here. From when I first started. So you can kind of see it on the paint. Getting good. It's kind of warm here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start massaging. Like so. Just light pressure, guys on this on, on the first application this is going to help you kind of spread the product out i know i said that already but i know there's a lot of beginners out there that that want to coat and they're scared and this product is very user friendly all right and down here like this little apron makes me want to bake cookies but it's also kind of handy to keep your towels in. Now you come in and you just buff off the rest. Sorry if I'm a little shaky with the camera, but. And that's all there is to it, guys. Really, really easy. Literally, the hardest part is remembering where you left off. So I always overlap, knowing I started in the middle i'll go to the left just a little bit where i know i started that way i don't second guess myself and that's pretty much it guys very user friendly enjoying it so far guys i'm gonna get back to work all right everybody oh man look at this thing got it back in the garage Pulled it out. I didn't see any spots, although I caught a few spots that I missed with my paint light. I went around it with my paint light. Uh, I caught a few spots on some of the doors that, you know, that I went ahead and buffed off. And it was nice because they just kind of buffed off. It was just a little, uh, I didn't buff it off completely. Not like a super high spot. It wasn't difficult. Even 30 minutes after when I checked this door, I found a little spot right here and it just wiped away no problems very 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 user-friendly product are you guys peeping the new test hood right over here huh i saw you i saw you looking at it yep i got another test hood uh, i just need to find a place for it um but yeah i am absolutely blown away at this this coating so user-friendly just i mean very simple very forgiving you guys if you're scared to try a coating i mean I'm not telling you, oh, go buy this coating. You will love this coating. I'm not telling you to go buy it, but you would love it. It's very user-friendly. There's a lot of user-friendly coatings out there. You guys, don't be scared of it. It's, it's very, very, very easy. So, let's see. 
and it's gonna get better guys so today is monday april 19th so i am gonna let this cure you guys you guys are gonna want to let it cure at least 12 hours before you go ahead and top it with the rehydra sheet which is gonna be our next step you can see this is how many towels i went through i'll go through everything in the final thoughts and i'm sorry if this video is a little bit long but i wanted to bring all those along with me so it is done what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let this cure until tomorrow after work that way it has a full 24 hours to cure the longer the better if you want to top it a minimum of about 12 hours before you top it with the rehydra beat or the rehydra sheet so let's come back tomorrow and after 24 hours of curing it's only going to get glossier too and let's let's apply the rehydra sheet topper now what's cool about this topper is it is a breathable topper so when i apply that topper it's going to allow the coating to breathe and cure but still add a sacrificial layer on top so i'm excited to try that so yeah all right everybody so it is now tuesday april 20th 6 14 so it has it was about two o'clock we checked in last time yesterday so 24 27 hours 28 hours to cure plenty of time we are ready to top this thing with rehydra sheet i'm gonna get set up and i want to go over a few things before we get started so let's do it all right so we're getting ready to apply the rehydra sheet this is the topper to the coating obviously so um, like I said before, Brian has it to where you can customize how you want the water hydrophobics to be. I chose the Rehydra sheet because in my opinion, I, I don't want water on my car. Beads are cool to look at, don't get me wrong, but I don't want water sitting on my paint because you get all these beads and then when the sun comes out, all those little beads act like little magnifying glasses and just bake the water and that's where you get water spots. So I prefer a sheeting product to get all that water off the paint. Um, now, uh, application wise, you're going to want to grab your microfiber or applicator pad. In this case, I'm using an applicator pad. This is the rag company applicator pad. It's kind of like a, it's like a plush applicator pad. Now what you're going to want to do, whether it's your, your rag or your applicator pad, you're going to want to get this thing wet, get it soaking wet and wring it out as much as you can to where it's damp and then you're going to take your hydra bead or hydra sheet 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 and you're going to do one spray one spray into the pad and uh, from what brian was telling me one spray would get him a whole hood so we're going to try it out and we're going to see uh how this is applied give you guys my feedback now the good what's cool about this topper is it's a breathable sacrificial layer so as you guys can see in the background the honda looks absolutely incredible but it's still curing it's been over 24 hours about 28 hours so that initial cure is done but i believe it's up to 14 days this thing's before it's fully cured so in that two weeks you want to protect it now it's breathable what does that mean it means the coating can cure and breathe through that protection while it's still being protected. And I thought that was cool. So a breathable sacrificial layer you can apply to the outside of the car to protect it while you pull it outside and it sits outside and the UV rays and you know all that kind of stuff. So it's a breathable sacrificial layer to put on top of the coating while it's in its you know two week term of cure so i thought that was cool so uh, i'm ready let's get set up and let's apply this rehydra sheet all right everybody so i've got my damp applicator pad now i forgot to mention uh your second towel um he prefers a plush 
microfiber, preferably 500 GSM. If not, a 350 GSM plush towel will work fine for, for buff off. Uh, here I've got a, I believe this is an Eagle Edgeless 500. Got it tucked away in my nifty little apron. No, I'm not baking cookies, guys. Um, so I've got my, my Rehydra sheet. Now I've already primed the sprayer off camera. That way I get a nice even spray. I'm gonna show you guys one spray. It atomizes really well. I'm gonna set this down. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply. I'm gonna do this whole hood. He said one spray does the whole hood and really, my buddy Brian with Fab Automotive Detail, and he said it looks like you're applying nothing and you are absolutely correct, my friend. So I'm gonna come in here just like that. I'm gonna do my cross hatch pattern. Just like so. Sorry guys, cross hatch pattern. I'm gonna come across here and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. It's extremely slick already. It's extremely slick. Oh, that feels nice. Cross hatch pattern. I like these little applicator pads because they got the little uh, pocket where you can put your hand. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna slip it right here in my apron. I'm gonna grab my 500 GSM edgeless and come here and buff off. Oh, man, yeah. Yep, yep, there it is. Oh, man. Oh, man. Brian, Brian, Brian. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Oh, you guys know I love the slickness and oh, it literally feels like you're putting nothing on the paint. I'll bring you guys in here for a close up shot, but oh man, I mean, it's just, woo, woo, awesome. Awesome, awesome slickness. You could you could feel it. The difference between here, where I didn't, and here where I applied. There is a 100% difference right there. Oh, man. All right. Oh, Smurfs in geek out mode. That is incredible. Let me get you guys off the tripod, and I'm going to bring you guys in. Let me... uh. Here, let's do this. Now this one spray. All right, let's get you guys off here. Sorry for my hands, guys. I wanna bring you guys in for application. All right, so here we are. It looks like nothing's going on, right? All right. Now you'll know if you're using too much product if you start to get streaking. Just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna put it in my nifty little apron. I freaking love this thing. I'm gonna come in and we're gonna buff off. Buff to perfection, baby. Oh man. Like at first you could feel like that just slight bit of where the product might be and then it gets ultra, ultra, ultra slick guys. Just absolutely incredibly slick. Just incredible. That is incredible. Did I mention that that was incredible? I don't think I did. All right. And that's it guys. It is that simple. Really is look like you're putting nothing on the paint, but oh man, it is just, I wish you guys could just reach through and feel it. Oh man. Oh, all right, all right, enough Smurf, enough. I'm gonna get this thing done.
I'm running out of sunlight, as you guys can see. That way I can get it out and get you guys some final shots of this bad boy. So let's get to work. All right, everybody, we are on a quick, well, I'll try to make it quick, final thoughts. Oh my Lord, this car looks freaking <laughs> amazing. I am blown away at the gloss on this thing, guys. It looks incredible. I swear I hit geek out mode like four times. At least four times I hit geek out mode. Blown away, blown, blown, blown away. And that is for sure. Um, all right, so <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the coating. You guys, this is a very forgiving, very user-friendly coating. This is only my second coating I'm ever applying. And uh, all, you, all you guys out there, trust me, I was with you. I was scared to do coatings. And, uh, but, I mean, you cannot get any easier than this. Any user-friendly than this right here. It's very forgiving. Um, you apply it, wait your, your 90 seconds, and you just, for one towel you come in, and then your second towel and you rub off, and then that's it. I mean, it's that easy. I did notice, as the afternoon went on a little bit and it got a little bit hotter and my garage started to heat up a bit, that narrow, that flash time from 90 seconds kind of narrowed down. And it was almost 90 degrees. It was like 88 degrees, you know, by noon almost. I don't know why, but it was hot and inside my garage was hot. So you just got to kind of adapt to uh, the climate. You know, if it starts to, if it's a little warmer, that flash time is going to be shorter. If it's cooler, you're going to be able to, you know, let it flash for longer. So you just got to understand that. Now, those of you guys out there that have the climate controlled garage and you can keep it at one temperature, beautiful. You're going to have a even better experience. I had a lovely experience. It was awesome. It was very easy. And uh, when I say forgiving, um, about half an hour went by and I came over to the driver door and I noticed that I didn't quite buff off the coating all the way. And it was about 30, maybe 35 minutes. And I came in and I just buffed it and it, it went away. Now I can't, I can't say that about the high spot that I found. One high spot, can't be mad. You're gonna have high spots sometimes. It was in the left quarter. Now what I did was I spoke to Brian on the phone, which is awesome. I, t I called him twice during the application of this coding and we chatted a bit. He answered my questions. I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Um, very helpful, you know, through the, through the install. I'm grateful for that. He said, if, if for some reason you do find a high spot, just put a little bit of polish on the tip of your towel, just a little bit, rub that spot until it's out and just reapply the coating. That's exactly what I did. Um, so 
it's a very forgiving coating. Um, I used to be really, really scared to do coatings. I'm not gonna lie. Those of you guys out there that haven't done them yet, because you're, you're intimidated by them, this coating is super, super, super easy. You will not be disappointed. Um, let's talk a little bit about, um, so yeah, by the way, 24 hour cure time, if not at least 12 hours before you top it with the Hydra sheet. I was fortunate enough to leave it in the garage. I let it sit for about 28 hours ish before I was topping it with the Rehydra sheet. Like I said earlier, this is a breathable topper. This is gonna allow the coating to cure in the next 14 days, but still have a layer of protection on the car. Yes, it's coated and it's protected, but you wanna protect it while it's curing because those are important. Um, that's an important window. So it's really cool that, that this is breathable and it lets that coating cure while still being able to put a little protection on top of it. That's the Rehydra sheet. You guys, I'm just, I really had a good time applying this coating. It took me a couple hours to get around the car, but I was getting a feeling for the coating. I was just kind of adapting to it, letting it talk to me, just feeling it out. You know, by the time I got, you know, halfway done with the car, I was boom, 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 applying and then wiping and, and you kind of get into a rhythm. Now, if you notice, I have two applicator pads. That's because my dorky self dropped this and it just got a whole bunch of crap on it. I wasn't going to risk it. I grabbed another uh, applicator, but I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's, it's hardened on both applicator pads. The droppers got some nice crystals on the inside. It's hardened. I'm just going to chuck those pads. As far as all my towels, guys, this, these are all the towels I used. I probably used more than I should, but that's all right. Some of the towels, when applying uh, the coating to the glass, you get some, you pick up some dirt sometimes on the rubber, um, the rubber trim and stuff like that. So I like to grab a fresh towel. But either way, these are all going to get downgraded. You're going to want to discard your towels, your coating towels, or downgrade them. I'm going to soak them in some APC and then wash them with all my other towels, and they're going to become um, engine bay, you know door jam wiping out door jams you know stuff like that just downgrade them they're not going to touch paint again um other than that i mean man easy squeezy lemon peasy right here guys the car looks freaking incredible i cannot not believe how how glossy this thing is and the slickness is is there a word for it in Credisane, <laughs> I don't know. You guys know I like my Blinktastic, my Glossum. It is Blinktastic, Glossum, and Credisane. All the words, fantastic. Uh, what else I wanna to touch on? Um, that's pretty much it, honestly. If you guys wanna check out Apex Service Protection, I'll put a link in the description with Brian from Apex Details YouTube channel. Um, so you guys can go check him out. He's very knowledgeable. He's taught me so much before I even started my channel. I was learning from him. Um, go check out his channel and, and gain some knowledge. You guys, I don't know everything. I'm not a professional. Uh, he has tons, tons, tons of years of experience and knowledge. I still learn from him. So go check out his channel. I'll, I'll link the, the, the coding you know, website in there if you guys want to go check it out and try it. Um, you don't have to buy this coding, but... You know, I would recommend it. And like I said earlier, with technology, these coatings are getting easier and easier to apply. You guys, I encourage you, if you're scared to try a coating, don't be. Don't be scared. Just got to pay attention. That's it. Just pay a little bit more attention to, to where you left off and you'll be good. And I'm rambling. I apologize if this was a long video, guys, but I wanted to bring all you guys along with me on my coating experience and... Uh, Hopefully this helped you guys. And if it did and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and smashing that thumbs up for me. Clicking that little notification bell. That way when I upload more videos, you'll get notified. Uh, I, want to, uh, I want to thank Brian again for being very, very helpful and uh, just being a, a, a great guy, man. Uh, I appreciate you, Brian. And uh, 
I can't thank you enough for all the help that you've given me. And all you guys out there, uh, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever it is where you're at. I'm going to get inside and take a shower. You guys all have a great one, and I'll catch you on the next video.